Today's video is kindly sponsored by Amazon Fresh. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. The kitchen has been painted, and let me tell you, I have been living with this kitchen painted in its current state for about three days, only three days, but I am in love. I don't think I could have selected a better color for this kitchen. Like, I cannot picture the cabinets any other way. There is something so magical about this view right here. Just like the depth and moodiness of the lighting on the cabinetry. I wish that you can actually see it how I'm seeing it in person because there is a little bit more warmth to the cabinets. So of course still needing the hardware, but the paint I just wanted to let cure for a couple of days prior to even thinking about hardware. So this is what it's looking like. Oh my gosh, I also set up this little um, breadboard this morning with some faux bread on it. This is actually foam bread. I got this in Cleveland. It's all I could put there for now, but it's turning out really, really cute. I'm so excited to also add the lanterns that we have, but I 1000% want to go check out some hardware options because now that we have the cabinets done, they are painted. We can totally add hardware to those cabinets and I want to see what options that we have. I haven't been able to utilize Liz's antique hardware for her antique hardware yet until now. I finally had something I'm able to use it for and I want to go check that store out. So I'm going to head over there quickly and see what kind of hardware they have. I also need to count how many cabinets we have so I can figure out what we need in terms of poles and what we need in terms of handles. I also sadly broke this cabinet door when I was installing them. Look at it, but I think I can fix it. I think I'm just gonna like put some wood glue in there, clamp it back together and then repaint it. I think we'll be okay. So this is the newer hardware that they have. They have so many options of hardware. And then on the other side of the store is all of the antique hardware, so over here. I also love these little star back plates. I think they're little star back plates like a little knob to go on top of, kind of like that. I'm definitely wanting to do cup handles on the drawers. I just always love a cup handle. I think it's so much more elevated than just like your traditional, you know, knob, like just a singular knob. So I want to do cup handles. I am leaning more towards like a brass. This is so pretty, like the burnished. Look at all of these options. They have some that are a little bit more on like the rustic side. Oh, these are literally just like little kind of pulls that you do. Some brass ones here that are super pretty. These are all antique, but they did say that they're not sure if they would have 18 drawer poles for a kitchen. Look at these little cute guys. They just kind of like sit on the edge and you just pull it. Not having too much luck here. Sadly, a lot of vintage handles, of course. You don't know how many there's gonna be. So I found 12 of one, but I need 13 of one that I really like. So I think I might have to do a little hunting online and seeing if I could find more quantity. I couldn't find a knob I loved in the newer area. I just felt like I can order them on Amazon if I'm gonna order something new, you know, probably cheaper. Just gonna try to find some cup handles and some other handles for the cabinets. I'm currently on my way to the grocery store. I decided that I wanted to pick up some groceries for the new house because I have consistently been there every single day and I have two full fridges completely unstocked with absolutely nothing inside of them. But now that the floors are redone and the marble is in, I'm going to be there probably every day, morning to night. So I wanna go ahead and stock up the fridges just a little bit so I have some food. Turning into the Amazon Fresh grocery store, today's video is kindly sponsored by Amazon Fresh, which is super exciting. Let's look for a parking spot. Today I'm shopping at the Amazon Fresh grocery store in Encino, which is one of my favorite grocery stores. It is such a unique, innovative idea. All you have to do is grab a bag, load up your bags, and skip the checkout. You literally walk right out of the door, you just scan your code as you walk in, and it checks out for you. But I will say that Amazon Fresh grocery stores have such a vast selection of absolutely everything your traditional grocery store has, plus more with the convenience of simply walking in, loading up your cart, and heading out. So when I was grocery shopping, I was mainly looking for items items 
that I wanted to use in the house. I needed a little bit of toilet paper for the house. I also needed, of course, some pumpkin spice latte because why not? But I just grabbed a bunch of snacks. However, I personally am going to be shopping at Amazon Fresh so much this holiday season, especially because I really would love to entertain this season. I haven't gotten the opportunity to host at my house. And since I have my own house this year, which is so freaking exciting, I'm really wanting to host this year. And Amazon Fresh is the perfect grocery store for all of your hosting and cooking needs for any festivity that you're having. And also not to mention that they have the largest variety of pre-made and pre-cooked food, you guys. Like if you're going to a holiday party this year and you need something last minute, this is a great place to stop in and get a full on pre-made dish for your holiday party. Even if you're hosting at home and you need something last minute, I'm sure you know the stress of the grocery stores around the holiday season. They are intense. They can honestly make you actually miss your holiday with how long you stand in line. So make sure to check out Amazon Fresh. I mean, you can walk in and walk out with the items that you need. And if you need any help while shopping, you can just ask one of the Amazon Alexas. Hey Alexa, how many ounces are in a cup? One cup is eight fluid ounces. Now, something really fun about shopping in store at Amazon Fresh is that you actually don't even have to check out. You literally put all of your items in your bag in the cart and you walk out of the store and it checks out completely for you through your Amazon account. Definitely makes the process a lot easier. No waiting in lines. You don't have to bag things up pre-done, which is really nice. So if you've never tried out Amazon Fresh before, you should definitely click the link in my description box below to find an Amazon Fresh store near you. And if you are a Prime member, you could shop online with delivery. Good morning, you guys. It's Long Beach Flea Market Day, and you had, oops, you know I had to come. Bright and early, the sun is blinding me at the moment, but we are gonna head into the Long Beach Flea Market. I'm here with Brittany from Badlands. I'm here. She's right here. We're gonna go try to find some really, really good chic decor. We almost didn't come. We almost didn't. We almost it. did it, but then we're like, we have to, it's once a month. Like we, Rally. okay. Prepared. Prepared for all the items. What are you doing? I need to put my Invisalign in so I brush my teeth. <laughs> Brittany got me these little glasses. Is this a housewarming gift? Yes. Oh. You brought these up because of the amber glass yeah. and the pendant lights. So these are cute. so cute, yeah, I love, I love them. All right, we walked in and the first thing, I already found two things I kind of like at this booth. These little fireplace tools and this. Easel, 1950s easel. It's really pretty though. It's very dainty. dainty. That's Yeah, it is dainty. This fireplace screen I just found. It's like all iron. Ooh! Look at this light, you guys. That's a fun one. Ooh, look at these wall sconces. This candelabra wall sconce. I'm also currently in the market for some copper cookware to put in my kitchen. So behind the range that I'm gonna be getting, I'm adding one of those brass bars and I would love to have some copper cookware to add to that section. These are really, really cute. 90 for the set, guys. I ended up getting it. These are really, really pretty. I love the mix of the brass with the copper. Guys, I think I need this unique box with false bottom. And then look, there's a little drawer at the bottom. That is so cool. I think I need this. I think, I need this. I think so. Surprise! Look at the drawer! Love it. So I got this one, and I also ended up getting this one. I love this one, like for a shelf, and I got it for $20. Look how pretty. Okay, you can actually see it now. Got a little overcasty. The sun makes it hard to see some of these items, but how gorgeous is this sconce? Wall mounted. Oh my gosh, look at our items. We're already getting some cute things. I love these. Literally fill your cart up, Brittany, every time. Brittany brings her own cart and I fill it with my items and she's pulling my items. I'm sorry, Brittany. I love it. It's so cool. The shape. So, we have no 
mirror, so I'm gonna film a clip and show Brittany the shoe. It looks really nice on you. I just saved the day. Brittany found her phone and she's currently freaking out because she's in LA for a little design project, but I just found it. So I'm gonna go surprise her and tell her I found it. I don't know how I found it. I went to like a couple of the booths we were at and I happened to find it. We've been looking for like an hour. Let's see what she does. It was at the booth with the um that with the big pot. Oh, where I got my bowl. Yeah, your bowl. Mm-hmm. Your bowl. Your lifesaver. <laughs> Look at this like window piece, you guys. I love architectural salvage. Antique ceiling tin. Wow. Ooh, cutie. She's comfortable. Here, put your feet up. That's like a reading lounger. Chair. View like the actual like wow. side profile of it. Cutie. It's perfect. Oh my gosh, you just knocked over my iron sconce. Oh, forget about my leg, like the rough stuff. Oh you. no, I think you got a little bit of tetanus from that. Oh, oh my god. No. <laughs> I heard McKenna's in the area. There she is. I see her. Gotcha. That's actually really cool. We have our antiquing group, McKenna and Brittany. We're going. Something promising. <gasps> wow. Beautiful. Wow. Well, this is that booth we went to last time. Oh, wow. No one. These are so pretty. Oh, this leaded glass cabinet is beautiful. And this stained glass. I love that one. Pretty. I love. So cute. What does this look like? Oh. What do we think? Is this a fox or a wolf, McKenna? He's got a long nose, so he does. But I think he's acceptable. It could be a foxy fox. enough, right? Yes. Yeah. It's it a be, it, lone fox. Lone fox knocker. Like I don't know what I even like on a piece of furniture or something. I don't know. Just like to put somewhere. Little oh, bee. Silver bee. Oh my oh. gosh. He's so like. Floppy. Oh, do you need a new mommy? Look at him. <laughs> he loves me. He's so cute. Oh, wow. He's just so weird, like everybody else. Wow. What are our thoughts on this? It actually kind of matches my bag. <gasps> it does. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's literally the same exact. Whoa. But it's. Wove. Wove. The wove. <laughs> Is it comfortable? It actually is. It's very comfortable. It kind of squished down like yeah. when you sat in it. Would so. Would you like to take a seat? I would. Okay. Oh. Isn't that pretty nice? Yeah. The color is just so pretty. It's so like rich looking. Yeah, cool. you had two of them. I know, really great. So I got a deal. I ended up getting this ottoman here, but then when I went to go check out, <laughs> look at what I found. Look at this chest, you guys. How stunning is this chest with the little Spanish details in the metal up here. It even has the original key. He said this is from Spain. He sold me this, you guys, for $300, which I feel like is such a great deal. It is humongous. Like these iron handles on the side. Like, look at this original forged key. And the inside is so pretty. I need to open it. Look how big it is. It's so cool. I don't know what to put in there, but I'm gonna store something in there. I'll store you in there. <laughs> That's my room. He's literally carrying his chair. I got my items. <laughs> Wow, we guys, do I have a haul for you? I am so excited to share with you some of the new items that I got yesterday at the Long Beach Antique Market. And also today, Brittany from Badlands actually delivered a couple of pieces that I ordered from her store quite a while back. So when I purchased this house, me and Brittany hadn't met yet. And I actually ended up selecting a couple items from her shop that I wanted for my home. She held them for me until I was finally ready to kind of move furniture in. And they are here. And you guys, here are some chairs. I am 
so excited to share with you the pieces. So I was literally not planning on going to Long Beach Antique. It is once a month, um, but the night before, Brittany texted me and goes, you know Long Beach is tomorrow, like are we going? And I had a full day planned of filming, I was gonna be working on the house, but I was like, you know what, this is once a month, like I should go, I still do need so much stuff for the new house, so I was like, I'm gonna go. We're gonna go, let's see what we can find, and I'm glad I did because I did find some really, really great pieces. The first item I got yesterday was this chair over here. Now from this view, it looks like a casual chair. However, from the side, I've been informed that it does look like a wheelchair. My mom goes, why did you buy a wheelchair? And now everyone tells me that it looks like a wheelchair and I have to get rid of the chair, which you guys, I love it. It was $150, but that was a great deal. I thought the shape was really unique. I would love to know your guys' thoughts though. Would you use this chair in your home or would you not? Because I'm at a point now, like I wonder if I should reupholster it. I also feel like this blue medical color does not really coordinate well with the wheelchair vibe of the actual chair. So that could also be a reason why. Maybe when I actually paint in here, it'll look a little bit better, but that is a chair that I got. I actually ended up getting two boxes as well so I got this box here which was $20 it was 25 but I got two from him so he ended up lowering the price this one is just like a wooden box but I loved the tone of it just like you know a storage box could put it on a shelf could put it in a closet or something and actually utilize it for storage and the other box was this fun toolbox which again this was something that I was kind of picturing going on top of like a dresser with some flowers in it kind of like creating compartmentalized sections in here then using it differently as a toolbox more so as like a wooden display box. It had these really, really cool pull out drawers. So it has a false bottom to it, which I thought was so unique. There's like little cubbies in the drawers as well. And then you guys also saw that I got some of that copper cookware. So I got this larger pot here, which has the brass handle. I think this is so pretty in great condition as well. Got the larger pot, this kind of medium sized pot, this one right here, which is so cute. And a few different saucepans as well, this little cute one. I'm just picturing like making hot chocolate in this on the stove. So all around 90 bucks for one, two, three, four, five, six copper pots with lids. Like that's pretty good, I think. So I did end up getting the Fox Knocker. This guy was $20, but I couldn't pass it up. I was like, you know what? There's gonna be a day where I wanna put this on the door or I wanna put it. I on my front door and literally utilize it as like a knocker like how cute would that be on like my antique front door which doesn't currently have a knocker on it like the little lone fox door here's an item that i think some of you might like and some of you might not like this is a wall sconce and when i saw this immediately my mind was like oh my gosh spanish revival iron i love it so much and i'm so happy i got this piece because you guys it was 60 dollars which i feel like if i was to find this at one of the antique stores or one of the architectural salvage places i've been shopping at this probably would have been more along the lines of four to six hundred dollars i got it for 60 which i thought was a great deal and i am picturing this just kind of mounted above a credenza above like a side table or something and having fresh flowers just kind of contrasting with the harsh dark kind of gothic look of this piece and then having fresh florals really contrasting that and kind of toning down and softening up this silhouette here two items that i can't really pick up are one that is right here right underneath the camera and that is the chest i got the spanish chest because another item i could not pass that up for 300 dollars. like it has so much history you can just tell by looking at it he said it was from spain that he brought it from spain and i think it is beautiful it is so stunning has the original key as well how like when do you ever come across a forged key like this so unique i absolutely love that and the last thing i got was from the same guy who delivered the chest this morning oh and by the way he delivered the chest in the ottoman to me which was so nice for 40 dollars because i couldn't fit it in my car so he's like oh i'll totally deliver it which was so kind of him so he brought the chest this morning i also got that ottoman the leather one that kind of is like that burgundy toned leather i just thought it was such a high quality piece like the leather is so thick and it's woven so nicely it's just such a perfect ottoman it's really comfortable as well so i thought quality ottoman for $150, I would grab that. I've been talking away, but I have three more items I gotta share with you guys, one of them being these dining chairs. And these dining chairs are beautiful. I absolutely love, first of all, the little screw details, like the nuts and bolts on the front that kind of hold them together. The tone of wood is beautiful. I love how squared off the construction is. And look, this is one of my favorite details. The back of it actually pivots back and forth so you can kind of like like if you wanted to sit like this you can lean back on the chair i think it is so cool it's like totally i don't even know i just think that is so unique and the chairs themselves are just 
gorgeous. So I got four of these chairs, which are gonna be going in one of the breakfast nooks. Not too sure which one yet. Another chair I got, which is a accent chair, is right over here. It is a reed chair. And I saw Brittany have this in a ton of photos on her Instagram before I even knew her. And I always was like, I will have one of those chairs one day. Like I thought it was so unique. And then as I was purchasing the item upstairs and these right here, I just asked her, I was like, is this, do you still have this? Is it for sale? And she's like, you know what? Like I was gonna keep it, but I'll sell it to you if you're interested. And so I ended up getting it. It is a dark kind of like walnut toned reed chair and it is so freaking unique. It's almost like a sculptural take on a beanbag chair. I don't know, there's something about it that is very unique, but I just got one of these because down in this lower living room, I wanna create really fun sitting areas down here and just make it more of like a very open space for people to sit, work on their computer, things like that. But the last item I got, guys, which is the first piece I ended up adding, because it matched my dining table, which I also got from Brittany. You guys remember that um, really old 1800s dining table that I have at my apartment? Well, there actually was a bookcase that matched. And at the time I couldn't afford the bookcase and the table. It was just a little bit too much. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get the table. And the bookcase was still available about six months later. So I ended up adding the bookcase, which was so exciting. And it is here as well. It is gorgeous. The chunkiness of the wood edges, the shelves themselves, the finish of the wood. This was another piece that was created from wood from the 1800s. So shipping cargo crates were actually transformed into this bookcase. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. I also got that easel, which you guys saw in the video. I got the easel as well um, for $35. So yes, that wraps up everything that I got. Quite a bit of furniture. I honestly, I don't really need to do much more furniture shopping, I feel like, until I move in and see what I actually am going to be moving over from the apartment. Um, over into here to see what I'm keeping, what I'm adding, what still needs to be purchased, things like that. I also will say though, I've just been having so much fun filming for you guys and going out shopping and antiquing and looking around. Like I feel like I have purpose to do so and I just have been loving it. So I've been purchasing way more than I probably should, but I love everything I've gotten, so. That's great. I do want to give a big shout out to Amazon Fresh. I want to thank them so much for sponsoring today's video. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I cannot wait to find hardware for the kitchen. I can't believe I haven't found any yet. I've only been looking for a day though. Like, why do I do this to myself? I put so much pressure on myself, but you know what? We're going to have hardware in the next video. Just you watch. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>